This is Fallout London official launch trailer. This has had 211,000 views. It was five hours ago. It's number one on trending for gaming. That's how I noticed this one. Damn, it's got barely any dislikes. <laughs> I like that comment. <laughs> oh my god, man. <laughs> I like that a lot. That's funny. That is funny. I'm actually really looking forward to saying this. For those that don't know, Fallout London is essentially, I want to say it's a DLC sized mod for Fallout 4. It's, I think it's more than that, to be honest. I, th I think I think you'll get more than double, probably, the playtime than you did from both Far Harbor and Nuka World combined. It's that big of a story. It seems massive in scope. But essentially all it is is a new world built on Fallout 4, brand new story, brand new characters, dot, 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 et cetera, et cetera, brand new weapons and stuff. Something that uh, I know has been in the works for a long time, and I'm glad that it's officially getting launched. Now, what I want to know, this is official launch trailer. Does that mean it's fully out? It, it seems to be. No release date in the description, so I think it's actually out now, which is amazing. Let's go. Um. I, I will, just for the sake of copyright, I will continue muting and unmuting. I might not get as mute, uh, copyrighted, but still don't. I'm just for the sake of it. Damn! Whoa! How this blue sword? How the hell is this Fallout Four? This looks amazing. London, twenty-two thirty-seven. They always said the sun had never set on the Empire. Oh my God! But now, most of all, Blighty is a shell of his former self. I know you shouldn't. You, part, partially, you shouldn't have to pay for this because it's a Fallout Four mod. But I would be more than happy to pay full money for this. Bosch together buildings, radiation filled nightmares. Oh my god, what the hell? Hooligans, up for a bit of argy bargy, or whatever the bloody hell those things in Thameshaven are, if you know what I mean. <laughs> in fact, the closest semblance of structure we got is a. This literally could be, oh my god, there's like bunkers and everything. This could literally be a new Fallout game. Daft and Barmy boys over in Lambeth. Only they won't budge except for a cup of Rosie Lee. These are dark times. So in a nutshell, it's all a bit Tom Tit these days. Hey, wee. This looks so good. Listen, the all of Blight is up for grabs right now. Nobody. This is one of those projects I never thought would actually be released, but this looks amazing. He's heard from a majesty for ages. And frankly, people are cream crackered here in the gentry's order. A majesty for ages. And frankly, this just proves how good this looks. This reminds me of the Modern Warfare 2019 map. You know, of, um, is it Rotterdam the call? I forget exactly where it is. I oh, know I'm in London for a here in the gentry's orders from behind their walls. No way! Especially with those angel bastards making things go bump in the night. Angels? Never heard of them. What do they want from us? So what's to play for? Each wanker wants a part of the pie. <laughs> Question is, who will it be? The last vagabonds of London's gutter. You're going to buy for your Are you, This looks so good! Deep this looks so good. Wait. Ashes pamphleteers are the fifth column. With me as your leader, I promise this city will be ours forevermore. Or the Camelot good nights for. of days past, heading once more under the breach. Let history remember well, I can't. Us. Let history know our name. Fight! You just need to open your eyes and have a butcher's me, old China. The I... sun's about to set <laughs> I didn't... on this hallowed land. I didn't realize just how much detail was in this. Into a little secret, though. Oh my god. Whilst the location might have changed. War. War never changes. Bro, well, this. Oh my god. It is. Oh no. Oh my god. Wait a second. That was amazing. Thank you to our Patreon and Ko-Fi supporters. I've never actually heard of Ko-Fi. I don't know what it is. Jesus. That looks so good. I want to know more about this. That looks so good. I'm just going to give it a quick Google. See what I can find out about it. Total conversion mod for of Bethesda Softworks Fallout 4, developed by Team for for London. It takes place in a post plot rendition. London is notable for oh my god, Jesus! Even like the 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 HUD design is slightly different. 
There's new weapons and everything. This looks amazing. Oh my god. I will get this. Oh my god. Even a new Pip Boy. What the hell? Oh my god. I can't handle this. This is really, really good. It requires you to own the base game. Fair enough. What I want to know is, does it... Oh! Fallout London will take over your Fallout 4 installation. No! Damn! So, uh, the reason I'm saying that is because... This looks crazy. The reason I'm saying that is because I've got a save in Fallout 4 that I was wanting to finish before I played this. So I'm going to have to finish that before I can even try this. But this is this looks insane. 200 quests, 20 factions, 7 companions, 15 boroughs, extended dialogue system, overhauled original... original. Ah! How long is this? This looks amazing. Well, that was Fallout London. That is the that blew my mind. That was much better than I expected it to be. Like, that's good. Oh my god, that makes me want to play Fallout Four again. And to be honest, I'm I might just do that. I remember I was just, I think I was just outside the Starlight Drive in Diner. In the last, in, in in my main save, my main save's got like three days worth of playtime on. So it's a long. I've done, I've done a decent amount of time on it, but um, I actually want to just go back and play regular Fallout, and then eventually try and get it done and go on to Fallout London. But then again, I'm saving up for a new PC. I might wait until I get a new PC and play Fallout, Fallout London at 4K on the big TV as behind us. I might as well do that. But that's really exciting and a, a lot better than I thought. But uh, I think what I'm going to try and do, I think I've got a a GOG account, so I'll I want to tie it to my account in case they try and charge for it in the future, because if it's a giveaway right now, I'll just try and get it, it should never be charged, but you never know, there's been mods that have been charged before, so like I guess I'd be happy to pay for it, but I may as well try and get in there and get it first in case it becomes like overly popularised, and then like, they do start charging for it, just in case, but yeah Fallout London, official launch trailer, that, that was absolutely incredible, much, much better than I honestly expected, I really want to try it right now, I might just buy a new PC right now, just to give it a shot but wow, that was really good. Anyway, that was that was sick. That was sick.